Hello everyone, welcome back to Pabli. The title of our today's video is how to get email notifications on Typeform submissions. So I am using Typeform as my form builder application and I wish that as soon as a new form is submitted in Typeform, I want to get an email notification through Outlook email. For this, we are going to create an integration between Typeform and Microsoft Office 365, which is Outlook email. To create this integration, we are going to use Pabli Connect. It is an amazing automation software. In Pabli, we have the concept of trigger in action. So for trigger, we are going to use Typeform and for action, we are using Microsoft 365, that is Outlook email. If you want to learn this process step by step, follow me through the screen. Welcome to my screen. So as you know, in this video, we are going to learn how to get email notifications on Typeform submission through Outlook email. So to do this, we have to create an integration between Typeform and our Outlook email that is Microsoft Office 365. To create this integration, we are going to use Pabli Connect. It is an amazing automation software. So as you can see that this is the landing page of Pabli and I have opened it by searching pabli.com slash connect in my browser. If you want to open that, you will have to search this and this is the landing page of Pabli which will appear then. Over here, you will get two options. One is sign up for free and the another one is sign in. So if you are a new user, you can click on sign up for free and you will get 100 of tasks free every month but I am an existing user so I am going to click on sign in and now it is opening all Pabli apps over here you can see all the tools and applications offered by Pabli but in today's video we are going to use Pabli connect because we want to connect two applications that is Typeform and Outlook email so we are going to click on access now and yes, you can see that we have opened our dashboard and to start with the automation, we are going to click on this button right over here, which says create workflow. And now it is asking me the workflow name and the folder I want to save the workflow in. So I want to save the workflow in this folder, which says automations. And I want to name my workflow as how to get email notifications on Typeform submission. And now we are going to click on create. And as you can see that it is opening my workflow window. And this is the most important window of our automation because we have trigger and action in this. Trigger means when this happens and action means do this. By this, you can understand that the trigger is the commander for the workflow and actions follow the command. And as you know that we can have only a single commander but multiple followers following the command of our commander. So over here, we can have only a single trigger but multiple actions following the command of our trigger. So now we are going to select our trigger application as type form and our trigger event as new entry. And now we are going to click on connect. And now it is asking me to add a new connection or select the existing connection. So if you have already connected your type form account with your Pabli's workflow, you can click on select existing connection and then save. But I'm going to click on add a new connection and then connect with type form. And now it is asking me for some permissions. So I'm going to click on accept and give it all the permissions that it is asking for because Pabli is secure. And yes, you can see that we have successfully connected our Typeform account with our Pabli's workflow. And now it is asking me the form name. So over here, you can see that I've created a form registration form. So I'll select my form name as registration form and then click on save and send test request. And now it is saying waiting for response. This means that Pabli is waiting to capture a response. So we are going to generate a dummy response. We'll open our type form. And over here you can see that this is my workspace and I have created this form. If you want to create a new form, you can click on create new form. We'll open our form. And now you can see that I've already published this form. So if you want to publish your form, you, you can click over here and publish your form. So we are directly going on share. And now this is giving me a link. So I'll just copy this link and paste it in my new tab. I'll open the link and this is my form. So I'll just fill in the dummy details as dummy user, the dummy email and then the dummy phone number. So first we are going to select the country as India and now the phone number. After filling these details, I'm going to click on submit. And yes, you can see that we have successfully submitted our form. So I'll open my workflow. And yes, you can see that Pabli captured the response. Here's the dummy name, the dummy email and the dummy phone number that we entered. This means that our trigger step is successful. And now we'll move on to our action step. For our action application, we are going to select Microsoft Office 
365. We selected Microsoft Office 365 because this is the application you need to select in order to connect your type form with your Outlook. So now we are going to enter the action event as send mail. So we are going to search for send mail. We are going to select this and now we are going to click on connect. And again, it is asking me to add a new connection or select the existing connection. So if you have already connected your Microsoft Office 365 account with your Pabli's workflow, you can click on select existing connection. But if you have not, so follow me. We are going to click on add a new connection and then connect with Microsoft Office. And again, you can see that Pabli is asking for some permissions. So again, we are going to click on accept because Pabli is secured. And yes, you can see that we have successfully connected our Microsoft Office 365 account with our Pabli's workflow. And now it is asking me the subject. So I want the subject to be new type form submissions received. And then we are going to move on to the content type. So I'll select the content type as plain text. And then it is asking me the body content. So I have already drafted the mail for the body content as this. Hello, you have received a new response from your type form. Here's the summary of your submission, the name, email, contact number, sincerely public connect. So we are going to map the name, email and contact number. So as you know that mapping means inserting the data from the previous step and our previous step was the trigger step where we selected type form as our trigger application. So we are going to map the details from the response of our trigger application only. I want these details to be dynamic and all these details should change with every new form submission. So as soon as I will map all these details, all these details will definitely change with the form submission. So first we are going to map the name. And here you can see the name as dummy user. So I map the dummy name and then the email. So we are going to search for email over here. And then we are going to map the email as dummy at the .com and then the contact number. So we are going to search for phone number over here. And yes, we are going to map this number. As you can see that I've mapped all these details and these details have now become dynamic. So now we are going to map to recipient that is the recipient email address. So I'm going to map my company's email address over here as pablitest at the rate pablitooths.com. So after mapping all the email address, I'm going to click on save and send as request. And yes, you can see HTTP status code as 202. This means that we have received a positive response that we have received an email. So we'll open our email. And yes, over here you can see new type form submission received. And over here you can see the same email that we drafted over there. This means that our automation is successful. So I'll just test the workflow once and give you a real time example. We are going to open the registration form again. And again, we are going to enter the new dummy details as test user. Test at the pablitudes.com. And again, a dummy phone number. So first we are going to select the country as India and the dummy number as this. After that, again, we are going to click on submit. And now you can see that our form is submitted. So this time we'll directly open our Gmail and check that if we have received the mail or not. This time we are not going back to the workflow and clicking on save and send test request. We'll directly go to our mail. And yes, you can see new type form submission received over here. So we have received a new form submission with the name test user, test at the rate pablitudes.com and here's the dummy phone number that we entered. This means that our automation is successful and now we'll just summarize the workflow. So for our trigger application, we selected type form. For our trigger event, we selected new entry. We connected our type form account with our Pabli's workflow and then we selected our form. We clicked on save and send test request. We generated a response. Pabli captured the response and then we moved on to our action step. For our action application, we selected Microsoft Office 365. For our action event, we selected send mail. We connected our Microsoft Office 365 account with our Pabli's workflow. Then we entered the subject we want. We selected the content type and then we entered the body content. We manually entered our recipient email address because we don't want this to change. And then we clicked on save and send test request. And over here you can see the response that we have received. This means that our automation and our workflow is successful. So if you have any query related to the workflow or the video, you can directly comment on this video. And for your reference, I'll just click on the workflow link and share it in the description box. 
Thank you for watching. Not only these applications, but with the help of Pabli, you can integrate many more applications. So now, if you have any doubts, you can reach us at support at the readpabli.com. If you have any queries, you can reach us at forum.pabli.com. And if you have any pricing related issues, you can follow this website. And if you find our videos helpful, do like and subscribe our channel. Thank you for watching.